Yeah, I'm on my game all day, the same all day. Took me a long time, but never quit it, no way. And I ain't hiding nothing, I ain't doing two pays. On my beat, flying kicks, kinda like I'm no way. Creating a fiasco, kinda like I'm hooray. Did a party like an 18, kinda like I'm hooray. Ask April and June, man, you cannot fool me. It makes no sense, like strip clubs without boo day. What's up, guys? This is Dennis. I'm here with Jordan today, another day at the park. We're training muscle ups today and um, follow along. Hopefully, we will give you the best tips to improve your muscle ups. Step one, you have to get 10 normal pull ups, okay? Pull ups are always the foundation. Don't uh, try to skip the pull ups. It might seem like an easy exercise, but if you really want to master the muscle ups, pull ups should be your bread and butter. You need to be able to do at least 10 to 15 clean pull-ups. The more you can do, the better you can do them, the higher you can do them, the better it will be for your muscle-ups. So this is really your foundation. Work on improving your pull-ups. The second step is to practice high pull-ups, like this. So don't just stop at your chin. You really need to be able to go as high as you can. So practice explosive pull-ups and practice to get the bar to your chest or even get it to your belly button. The higher you can go, the easier the transition will be. And when you train explosively, you won't be able to do 20 or 30 explosive reps. You should try to do maybe three to five reps, but those should be full mode explosive. All right, the next step, third step, will be practice your straight bar dips. As you probably can tell, a muscle up is technically a combination of a high pull up and a straight bar dip. So you really want to be able to dominate the straight bar dips. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you find a way to get up the bar, maybe um, use a stool or have somebody help you up, and then start pumping out those reps, full range of motion. Act as if you were at the bottom position of the uh, muscle up. So basically you finish your high pull up and from there, you put all your force into the bar and press yourself up. Step four is the negative muscle ups. You have to jump in the bar and try very, very slow the negative one. And up again. Again, when you do negative muscle ups, find a way to get up, either jump or have someone help you up. And we do the exact same motion as a regular muscle up, just in reverse. So we start from the top, do the negative part of the dip, then the transition part, that will be the tricky part. At, when you start out, you might just fall down from that point. Try to control the transition, and from the low lowering in the dip, you will transition into a pull up hang, and then lower down to negative pull up. Try to have each of these steps last at least two to three seconds. The longer and the slower you can make it, the better it will be. Hi guys, so the fifth step is muscle muscle ups, like Dennis. When we say master your muscle up, what we mean is um, don't try to do a muscle up and then just like, you know, keep going for higher reps even though you didn't really get a clean one in the first place. As you can see here, Jordan keeps his legs straight, 
hip and feet are in line. He doesn't bend his knees or his hips. Also, what you might notice is there's a slight uh, C movement, a slight arch movement. He doesn't go straight up, but he goes a little back and then forward. So what might happen at the beginning is not starting from a completely dead hang, uh, but give your body a slight swing, very slightly. And the moment that you're going back, that's when you pull and you have that arch around the bar. Okay, I hope you guys can use some of these tips maybe to learn your first muscle up, to improve your existing muscle ups. Please let us know in the comments what you think about these tips. If you have some more tips to share, please let us know. And me and Jordan, we'll be doing some more reps now. Let me flip this script. I feel privileged for all who can witness this.